All right guys, what's up? My name's Aaron. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about building wealth and building you through investing. Now today we're going over the five swing trading indicators that you need to be using when you trade every single day to so picking the best trades as quickly as possible and earning the most profit per trade. Now, if you can properly utilize these five swing trading indicators, then you'll be able to pick better trades much faster. Now, these work best when you're combining multiple into one trade idea. So that's why we're gonna go over the five most important. So you can combine a couple of them to form a really, really strong trade decision. Now, if you like this video and you wanna learn more about swing trading, make sure you check out my last video on how I swing trade. Now, make sure you drop a like for this video and subscribe for more content like this to come every single Week. Now, without further ado, we're jumping into my computer to go over the five best swing trading indicators that I use on a daily basis. These will get you trading much faster and picking much better trades so you're staying consistently profitable and building up a great portfolio. Let's go over my five favorite indicators right now so you can use them and implement them in your trading. The first one that we should talk about is the MACD indicator. It's this one right here. How this works is you have two exponential moving averages, a fast line and a slow line. When the fast line crosses the slow line right here, it's supposed to show a change in trend. And you can see that there's a few crosses. So one right here. See the blue line? This is the fast line crossing the yellow line. This is the slow line. It indicated a change in trend. So we actually saw that on the gap up right here in the queues and it predicted this next move in the queues. Then once we got to this high point right here, we saw the fast line across below the slow line right here. This indicated actually the beginning of this massive downward move. Actually, this predicted it perfectly. If you were paying attention to the MACD and reduced position sizing, when the fast line crossed the slow line, you would have sidestepped a large portion of this down move in the queues. And then when the eight day crossed the 21 day right here with further confirmation that you should have gotten out. And then we can see that the fast line actually never crosses the slow line on the MACD until right here. And this is when a new uptrend started to form and it confirmed the uptrend for this next monstrous move off the lows in March. So the MACD can be an extremely powerful indicator that you should be using for your trading. Like every indicator, it's not perfect, but when you use the MACD with other indicators and patterns and other strategies, it can be a great, great way to pick stocks and follow the trend. So to add this to your Thinkorswim platform, you're gonna navigate up here, click this, type in MACD, and then you're just going to double click this once you double click this it'll pop over here and i already have it right here and then for this there's actually no settings that you need to change all you need to do is click apply and then click ok and it'll show up on your chart so the next indicator that i think you should be using is the rsi indicator right here this basically shows over buy and oversold levels for whatever stock you're looking at right now we're looking at facebook how the rsi works is it works on a plot from zero to 100 with over 70 being an overbought condition and under 30 being an oversold condition. You can see right here that the RSI line will start to turn red in an overbought area and blue in an oversold area. Sometimes it can remain overbought for a very long time. So right now, let's look at Facebook. It first got overbought at 115 right here and it remained overbought for some time. And then it finally peaked out and sold off a bit after that, but it's definitely not a perfect indicator. Then we can look further and and we can see that it first got oversold right here. And this was actually a good indicator for a very short term trade. But then you can see that the price continued to fall after that. And then we got several more oversold readings until it finally bottomed at the end of March. So the RSI can be a great indicator to see when stocks are overbought or oversold to pick your pricing. But definitely be aware that stocks can remain oversold or overbought conditions for a very long time. Let's also look at the queues to see another example of this. So here, the queues first got overbought, on, according to the RSI, at 207. But then we continued to rally for the rest of December and actually racked in another 5% on the queues before we came out of over, so overbought. And then we continued to rally again for another 5% while we were in an overbought condition. So if your only metric was to sell when something becomes overbought, according to the RSI, then you miss out on about a 10% move in the queues. On the flip side, you can see that we got an oversold condition on the queues right here where we did have a nice bounce off of about 10%. But then again, that failed and we continued to move lower. So that's why I say when you're using indicators, 
you need to be seeing multiple indicators confirming the same thing in order to put on a confident trade. To add the RSI, go to studies, type in RSI, and then you'll double click this and it'll pop in right here. And again, there's nothing you need to change on this. It is perfect as it is. So you'll just click OK and it'll show up on your chart. The next indicator that I want you to be watching is volume. It's extremely important to watch volume and it's arguably one of the most important indicators on this list. The other day I was watching Teladoc Health. We had a, this monstrous 8% move. This was on above average volume. This is really important because it shows confirmation that this move is legit and there's real buying power behind it. Now I actually bought into this stock on this 8% move up and I did this because I saw volume confirmation. Now this stock continued to rally another about 8% after that and I'm actually still in it playing for the breakout up here. But the real reason I got into this stock about 8% up on the day was because of the volume confirmation. This is my favorite volume indicator for a few reasons. Now the volume indicator that comes default on the Thinkorswim platform is not very good. So I recommend you remove that right away and add this one. But this one shows the average volume plotted over whatever amount of days that you want. So right now I plot it over 30 days. So basically taking the one month average and that shows up as this line, this yellow line right here. You'll also see that in the number right here, it'll show you the average for whatever day you've selected. So right now I'm gonna hover over that breakout day and you can see in those numbers in the top left, right next to average volume in the green box, you'll see 3.4 million and the average being 2.9 million, meaning that the day's volume is above the 30 day average. And you can also see that it's colored so really quickly you can see whether it's a down or up volume day. To add this, all you do is navigate up studies, then you type in volume average right here. And you're gonna add this and you're gonna double click it and it'll show up right here. To adjust the average amount of days, what you need to do is click the settings button right here, and then you're just gonna adjust the length right here. Now, now I have it set to 30 and then you're just going to click OK and click OK again or click apply and then OK. And then you're going to see this great volume indicator right here that you'll be able to use to really quickly confirm whether a move is legit or not. Now the next key indicator that you need to be using is the VWAP line. This is great for intraday moves. It's basically actually only used for intraday moves. And the VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. So this line right here basically just takes the price and averages it against the volume. And this is an indicator that all traders are watching to pick their intraday pricing points. Now to add this on your Thinkorswim platform, you're gonna go to Studies, and then you're gonna type in VWAP and double click this. So if I click Apply, you can see that I have these two other basically Bollinger Band lines that I don't want because it clutters up the chart and they're somewhat unnecessary. So to remove those, click settings, then you're going to upper band and you're basically just going to uncheck these, go to lower band, uncheck these, and then click OK and click apply. Now you can see those two bands are removed and you're left with just the VWAP line. So we can see Teladoc Health bounced off the VWAP line multiple times throughout the day. And since it's held the VWAP line to the upside, today it's trending in an upwards direction. Whereas Apple broke the VWAP to the downside and has not reclaimed it to the upside yet. So the VWAP is used to track intraday price moves and to pick your pricing points. Now, the last indicator that you must be using are moving averages. Now, I use four moving averages, the 8-day, 21-day, 50-day, and 200-day. And I've talked about these in past videos, but they're that important that you need to need to be using these. Right here, I have the 8-day up top. I have the 20-day in purple then the 50 day in blue and the 200 day in red. So the eight day basically shows a much faster trend. And then as you go out in time, you're showing a longer trend. So right here, we're looking at the cues and we can see that once the eight day crossed the 21 day right here, we basically confirmed this big down move. And then you had the 21 day crossing the 50 day, which then further solidified it. And then once we broke the 200 day, we could see that a big downtrend was in play. So when you're seeing the eight day up top and then the 21 day and then the 50 day and then the 200 day, then you're in a nice perfect uptrend and there's not that much to be worried about until you start to get the eight day cross 21 day and 21 day cross 50 day. Cause then you're starting to see a deterioration in trend and a downward move in trend. When you have a perfect trend, that means you can be more invested and take on more risk. But once you start to get these down downward shifts in trend, that's really when you should be reducing risk. And on the reverse, you should be adding risk when the moving averages are starting to turn to the upside. Such as right here, we saw the eight day cross the 21 day to the upside, that confirmed this move. And then we saw the 21 day cross the 50 day and the 200 day, which further confirmed the up move. And then we saw the 50 day cross the 200 day right here, which then confirmed the up move again. And now we're back in a perfect trend as of right here. Now you can be adding on more risk until the eight 
28 day across the 21 day, and then the 21 day across the 50 day. Those are your signals to start reducing risk again. Now to add this, go up here, and then you're gonna type in simple moving average. You're gonna double click this. So you're gonna click this four times. So you're gonna have four moving averages, and you're gonna need to adjust each moving average to get the correct day. And you're gonna need to adjust each moving average to get the correct period. So right here, you can see I have the eight day, then I have the 21 day, then I have the 50 day, then I have the 200 day. Now to adjust this, all you're gonna do is click this wheel and then change the length right here to 200. And you're gonna adjust this 50 for the 50 day, eight to the eight day, and 21 for the 21 day. Then click okay and click apply. And that's all there is to it. These are the five best, most important indicators that you should be using on your Thinkorswim platform. The more indicators that you have confirming your idea, the better. If you have one indicator telling you something, the chances of that working are much lower than if you have three, four, or five of these indicators all working together. Welcome back, guys. Now you know how I use the MACD, RSI, VWAP, moving averages, and volume to pick the very best trade. Now you can implement these indicators for your own trading and pick trades for yourself. And as always, start investing today because there's no reason to wait for tomorrow, and especially now since you know how to use these awesome indicators. My name is Aaron, and if you like this video, hit that like button below. It was made just for you. Now remember to subscribe also for more content like this to come every single week. Now I will see you in the next video. Peace.